we are in Lake Havasu City, which, besides the lake, is famous for another unlikely landmark. It is the London Bridge, brought from London, England, block by block, and finally reconstructed here in 1971. Today we are going to be staying at the Islander RV Resort, and this will be our home base to explore the area. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Here's our huge site. Before going to town, let's explore the campground a little bit. Here's a nice little beach. By the way, it is pretty windy today. El farito. There's a small lighthouse. So windy. It's all so very nice and pleasant. But let's go into town. Our RV park here is actually located on an island, connected to the rest of the town by the aforementioned London Bridge. Hey! If it's as world famous, no, well, you know. <laughs> Let's check it out. Yeah, I always get kind of suspicious when something self-advertises as world famous. Let's teleport. Yeah, they have fish and ships, like in London. Yeah, this whole area near the bridge, very touristy, with an obvious uh, British motif. There goes another one of those Doctor Who red phone booths. It's very pretty. There's the London Bridge Resort and the bar called Kokomo. Geesh, a little dirty, huh? No duckling, don't eat from there. Ugh, that was gross. Wouldn't it be cool if a London double-decker bus went over the bridge right now? Ah, uh, it's only an RV. So cute. There we go, the three flags, USA, UK and Arizona. Let's check out the Kokomo. Maybe it is the off season, huh? Yeah, there's no one here and it's not even that early. Kinda kills the mood. It's a Monday too. That's kind of a nice view of the bridge, framing the mountains. We came to find out about the boat tours and the news is not great. Uh, here we are, Mud Shark Brewing Company. And I think they just closed. <laughs> My wish is cold. Yeah, let's eat. Much We're hungry. Brewery. You've got nachos. It's a pretty large town, actually. Larger than I expected, for sure. Well, what I was saying about the boat tours, it turns out that they are all done for today and tomorrow they are expecting high winds, so all the tours are cancelled. All except, um, well, it's not really a tour. 
our only choice if we want to get on the lake today is a ferry that goes to the Havasu Landing Casino on the California side. So that's what we're gonna do. It's better than nothing, right? Beautiful, beautiful afternoon to be on the lake. If, as I said before, a little windy. Although tomorrow it's supposed to be a lot worse, so not complaining. So many RVs and RV parks. At least we know in that sense the town is very RV friendly. There it is, the California side. I was expecting for the Havasu Landing Resort and Casino to be perhaps a tad bigger, but no, that's the whole thing. Very underwhelming and uh, anticlimactic. But tell you what, the boat ride was nice, which is essentially why we came. Nice gin and tonic, here contemplating the view over the lake until they told me I couldn't use the camera inside the casino. Well, not the greatest casino in the world considering we are just a couple of hours away from Vegas, but I mean, the views are nice, the sunset is spectacular, and um, anyways, it's the only way we're going to be able to take a boat on Lake Havasu because tomorrow they're predicting high winds and all the boat tours are cancelled, so this was our only chance. Hmm, how about that sunset, huh? Might as well enjoy the sunset while we wait for the return ferry. There is one every hour and uh, here it comes. Oh. Well, here's our ride. We decided to ride inside on the way back since it is starting to get really chilly out there. It does feel a lot more like a commuter ferry at this time. Alright, that was our boat. And here is the original London Bridge. The one in London is a copy, I hear. I'm kidding, of course. I gather this whole area actually belongs to the city of London. Anyways, we're gonna call it a night and tomorrow we're gonna do some exploring around the area. Well, for once the weather service was correct. It is windy today. By the way, good morning, it is a brand new day here at the Islander RV Resort. Yep, very windy morning here. And the moon is setting. We bought some carnitas at the last place that we were and, um, and I made him like uh, pork chunks. I forgot to, to show you how I made them though. It's really windy out there, guys. Oops, I almost ran over that guy behind me. Thank goodness I have a camera. Anyways, we made those pork uh, chops. They sold them to me as, as carnitas. In Miami, they sell them as 
pork for stew is pretty much the same thing and uh, we use some of that um, marinade that but well, it's like a like um what's the name of that drink? bloody mary it's like a bloody mary mix but it's really a marinade and it gave it a great flavor actually and um, and I uh, chop some onions and garlics and um, and I put a little bit of vino seco, which is my secret ingredient, of course. That's that dry cooking wine that I use, and I put some paprika, salt and pepper, and oh, they came out delicious. I just you know took them there, kind of stew-like, until it really dried up for about half an hour or so, probably 45 minutes after all was said and done. Anyways, today we're going north. We're going to to see the the, the burros. The donkeys at this uh, town, and um, what is it called? Old Man. And we'll see what else we can do. Here's the plan for today we're going to drive to Old Man, as I said, then through historic Route 66 to Kingman then Laughlin, Nevada. And finally, driving into California, we'll make our way back to Lake Havasu City. First, we're gonna go to the Craggy Wash, which would have been our boondocking spot if we would have decided to boondock here. I just wanna see it for future reference, maybe next time. Yes, this was going to be our original boondocking spot before we decided to splurge at the RV resort. It is through here, about a mile on this dirt road. Here's the camp host, and here the rest of the camping area, which is pretty big. Yeah, very nice, very beautiful. We could do this next time. We've reached the end of State Route 95 and we're going to take I-40 for a little bit here. And there's California, but we're going to turn right just before the border, onto the Oatman Highway. As we pass Golden Shores, the landscape starts becoming a little more interesting. Apparently, this is all part of historic Route 66. Check out all the Choya cacti! Beautiful! I'm just gonna stop here on the side of the road real quick. Definitely one of my favorite cactus varieties here. I mean, I'm still kind of partial to the saguaro, but these are so beautiful. Although quite scary up close. Yeah, you don't wanna fall on one of those. Maybe we should continue. Such a desolate and beautiful place. Doesn't that rock formation look like a giant turtle or something like that? I wonder what this is. The ruins of an old ghost town, perhaps? Surrounded by all this choya cacti. The desert beauty never ceases to amaze me. Hmm, boondocking spot, perhaps. Hmm. 
Here we are, Oatman. Doesn't look all that great as you arrive, but that's what it is. And there's the main attraction of the town. They have all these donkeys roaming around. Okay, by all means, cross the street, yes. Greetings from Oatman. These are technically burrows, which are basically small donkeys. Elevation 2700 feet. Route 66. This is basically the whole town. A bunch of shops, a couple of saloons. Yeah, it's all very touristy. Yeah, no lack of wind power today. There's a saloon inside the Oatman Hotel, and maybe we'll check it out later. I don't know what that is. Well, hi, hello there. What are you doing? Of course, there are several establishments that sell burrow food, as expected. No wonder the asses like to hang out here. They are also milking good old Route 66 for all it's worth. Uh-oh, you're coming towards me. Hello, fellas. Well, hello, yes, thank you for welcoming me. They've got some art here. And of course, there's gold panning, why not? Let's check out the mine. Yep, this is the whole thing. Kind of disappointing. Alright, that was the mine museum. At least it was free. Let's check out the Ottoman Hotel. This is the bar, which is pretty much packed. <laughs> what are the chances of that? He wants a pair of Johnson's for a couple days. The restaurant looks pretty full as well, and it is like a hundred degrees in here. Well, there's not a whole lot more to do here unless you're really into shopping for quirky stuff or, or burros for that matter. So once we've seen the burros and the hotel, we're ready to go. This is the other saloon. Nothing to see here. Well, that was Oatman. Very picturesque uh, little town here in the middle of nowhere, Route 66. Now the journey continues. It is almost too windy for the drone, but I figured I had to try. By the way, one of the few places I've been to that actually looks better from the ground, except for this view, maybe.
something beautiful everywhere you look. I had no idea. This here to the left is an actual active gold mine. As we approach Sid Greaves Pass. There's the gold mine down there. Let's stop here real quick. Well, here we are, Sid Graves uh, Pass, elevation 3550. I mean, it's pretty chilly, 44 degrees and uh, windy. views are absolutely amazing. Let's, uh, let's see the view from the other side. Oh, now we'll continue down that road. Ooh, it's cold. Yep, Ed's camp seems to be abandoned, like so much other stuff around the Route 66. This coming up is the Cool Springs gas station. Unlike Ed's camp, this one is not abandoned. Cool Springs cabins. It's the food, museum and gift shop. It looks like it used to be an old vintage gas station, but whoever owns it has kept it going and well maintained. They have some gems here for sale. Before we go inside, let's see what else is laying around out here. Get me one of these. At Route 66. Our next stop is Kingman, Arizona, which happens to be another Route 66 town. Let's check out Il Trovatore. Wow, 
well. Besides its many murals, the hotel claims to have the world's longest Route 66 map. Oh yeah, this is Il Trovatore Motel, and uh, uh, it holds the claim of the longest Route 66 map. And I was looking for the map, and it is actually this. You know, it has the, the names of all the continental divide, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah, the, the main the main cities were Route 66. The original Route 66 used to go through. Each room has like a name, like Marlon Brando, for example, Clint Eastwood. There's Tweedy. Audrey Hepburn, Clark Gable, etc., etc., etc. Taz. And here, at the end, of course, Route 66 would end at Chicago, right? Very cool. It's quirky. It's horribly cold today. <laughs> Let's continue exploring the area. Well, yeah, if only for the murals, it is worth it checking out the Il Trovatore. Well, we've got one more thing, one more point of interest. And I'll give you a hint, it is not in Arizona. There's the Colorado River down there. On this side of the river, Bullhead City. On that side, Laughlin, Nevada. We made it to Nevada. Well, yeah, it's like a mini Las Vegas strip, isn't it? All right, let's go back to the riverside. Let me tell you, this town is like a big oasis here in the middle of the Mojave Desert. I think all of the casinos offer some type of RV parking, so that's a good thing. Here we are, Riverside Casino, and they do have an RV park. Not a bad RV park, let me tell you, I mean for a casino. With that we say goodbye to Laughlin. I didn't take any pictures inside the casino because 
you know, they frown upon those things. But this RV park, next time we're staying here for sure. All right, let's get into Colorado. Oh, beautiful afternoon here in Laughlin. We actually won at the casino, believe it or not. And so we cashed out and decided to have dinner back in Lake Havasu. We're gonna have dinner here at the Barley Brothers Brewery. Seems nice. Barley Brothers Brewery. We have a view of the bridge, kind of. They have nice IPA, cream of broccoli. Yeah, because today only a good steak would do. Well, good morning. It is our last morning here at the RV Resort. It was nice, but we barely knew it. Nice to have unlimited water and all the amenities, of course. But before we go, let me show you from the air. Today we are not only saying goodbye to the Islander RV Resort or Lake Havasu City, we are also saying goodbye to Arizona for a while. On the next video, we're going into California and from the looks of it, we are going to be in the Golden State for a while.